The Bridstow Lavender Estate in Tasmania was founded in 1922 by London perfumer C.K. Denny. He brought a packet of lavender seeds from the French Alps with him from England. Those seeds would grow into the world's largest privately owned lavender farm. The Dennys owned the farm for 67 years. When Tim Denny, C.K.'s son, retired in 1989, the farm went into corporate ownership. The decline soon began and it seemed this would be a fairy tale without a happy end. But in 2006, events took an unexpected turn. Holidays in Tasmania in the previous September, and we called here, um, having been here previously, uh, were dismayed at the, perhaps the depressed state of the enterprise. It suffered badly in the drought, um, and it was clear that uh, its, 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 its illustrious brand was being challenged. So I thought, well, okay, let's, uh, let's buy it, and let's see if we can bring it, bring it around. And that's exactly what we've been doing. Our business has grown 10 times in nine years. We've taken a preeminent role in Tasmania in agri, we, we call it agri-tourism, come and see how it's produced, where it's produced, meet the people that make it, um, and see what we do with it. VLUX Skylights have played a significant role in Bridstow Lavender Estate's success. I, I can't say I'm addicted to it, that's stupid, but we had used them in Sydney and the results in our Sydney house were short of, just short of spectacular. And so I guess I was a bit preconditioned when we bought this farm to, uh, to see it as a, as, as a solution. It's re-energised our environment basically. I mean it's made spaces great places to work. I mean that really is why I've continued with the thing. I mean the transformation of the house has been enormous. It pleases us greatly. Um, the transformation of the visitor centre has been phenomenal. We took the learning from the visitor centre and then transferred that to uh, um, the new manufacturing facility and that's been, that has been an outrageous success. That really has. We have virtually zero need for heating or cooling in that vast facility. The overall satisfaction level of the enterprise that we run has gone up as a consequence of this sort of installation. I mean, I feel better, family feel better, staff feel better, customers feel better. It's been a, a seriously positive outcome. I mean, it certainly paid back in terms of um, much improved ambience and much improved customer satisfaction. The fairy tale is set to continue. Robert Ravens has mapped out the immediate future for Bridstow Lavender Estate, a future that once again involves Velux Skylights. If we have a bathroom redevelopment which um, will incorporate um, Velux and uh, we have plans for a major expansion of the visitor centre and that would certainly incorporate Velux. But I would use them in anything I do so it's, I'm, as I said, not obsessed with them but it must be getting close. It's good. <laughs> Australia.